Hello, welcome to another video. Right now we are in a side town from Toronto, Canada, and I'm gonna skateboard a little bit on my own little adventure, but we are hanging out with Dope Squad, which I'm super looking forward to, so let's begin. Okay, so I just got the text and we're about to head to Peter's office, which is something I've been super excited about because he's a very inspiring figure and all of his friends and what they're doing is a very inspiring thing. So to see it firsthand is going to be, it's gonna be amazing. So let's go. I just, you know, like to look out for my friends. So everyone that's here just, just knows in case anything was to happen at any time, you just reach under this part of the desk and just pull and you're, you're ready to go. Wow. Just in case, you never know. I mean, this is Canada, so. It, what is, is that a kitchen knife? This is like a six <laughs> inch, uh, this is a Super Steel S3 V5N uh, buck knife. That was gonna be my second that's guess. That's handmade by my friend Lucas Burnley, but um, yeah, you know, like full, full oh combat. Well, not people know where it is. I move it every two weeks. What are you yeah, doing here? What's going on with the pants? Those are sick. Thanks, man. How are you living, dude? Good. How are you? What are you doing here? Oh, thanks, man. That's my, that's my friend's cousin. It's I work so at funny. the skate, there's a skate park right down the street. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where I work. Well, it's open right now from ages, it's like 12 and under. Oh, okay, and then okay. at 6 o'clock, it's... That's when the adults are going? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. You just need a helmet, and then you need to sign a couple waivers. If gotcha. It's your first time. So Sarah and Peter are filming a podcast, and how random is it that the one guy I run into is someone who works at the skate park that I wanted to take a look at, sort of nearby. But he said adults can't skate until after 6 p.m. So we're still going to go by and look at it and maybe try to weasel our way in there. If not, cry. Six PM yet. It's thirteen plus. Okay, so right now. And anyone above yeah, right now you can. Gotcha. If you wanted to skate that is, you can go in. Gotcha. Could I leave my board and look at it? I can't record in there though? No. I was gonna record the park. I just wanted to showcase the park since I'm visiting from New York. There's kids in there, yeah. You'd be able to look at it but you can't actually Gotcha. Okay, yeah, no worries. And that is honestly why I hate facility or recreational skate park centers. They, ugh. We actually had one in Columbia, South Carolina and my friend Zach Gillespie worked there. In my opinion, they're silly strict and it's also kids working there who don't let anything budge. The fact that I couldn't go in there and film or any- I ended up just complaining a lot. Outdoor skate parks are cooler than these recreational skate parks. Let's just leave it at that. Peter. Yes, Jonathan. Didn't you make a video recently called How Do People Live Here and you are talking about LA? I did. <laughs> How do people live in smaller towns, and how are you okay with after traveling to all these cool okay. places? Okay with this? Well, it was a, it, that video was specifically about how hot it was. Because we drove to Laguna Beach from LA in LA traffic with no air conditioning. It's super hot. He doesn't have AC in his car. His car has nothing. The back of my shirt is soaked. And it was it was crazy. Also, LA is like living in a big khaki pant. Everything's beige. Um, but living in a small town, like. There's a bunch of small towns connected, and yeah, although we travel to these amazing vistas and see these beautiful places, uh, there's nothing like coming home to familiarity, being able to like sleep in your own bed and be in a small town where you recognize every corner and you know the shortcuts everywhere. It's just, there's just nothing better than that. So, short answer is, I love it. What about you though? <laughs> All right, so we just got done hanging out with Peter, 
and it was amazing. His family, amazing. It's about an hour out of town, and we're sitting in the car right now, getting our editing on, and I'm holding this light that Peter gave me for aesthetics and filming hackagery. So we're going back to the hotel, we're hanging out, but getting edits done, being productive, and hopefully sleeping. You know what I forgot? What's that? Shane Dawson put out his new Jake Paul video, so. Yeah. Scratch that productivity. Yeah. All right, lighting number one. Since Peter hooked me up, I wanted to see which one looks the best. This is usually how I end my videos, but it's this one or or this one. Even though this one's a lot darker, the other one's a little brighter, and this one is actually from my iPhone. This is just my iPhone. Yeah, as you can see, but this right here is the light that Peter gave me. Okay, this one is definitely better than the phone. You can see that the phone is a little greener, and I think the light overall here, the temperature is just way too high. But it's still pretty creepy that I'm filming in a room that's this dark. It's just not the best backdrop, but if you wanna check out a video that Peter made about these lights, you can check it out, link in the description down below. He does this full tutorial, but I'm pretty excited to have it. I think it'll actually be pretty cool to take around the city too. And if I'm vlogging at night, which I do a lot, I can just be like, Psh. But as you can see, I am back in New York City and Canada was a blast. It was very inspiring being around someone like Peter McKinnon, Maddie, Chris Howe, Jesse Driftwood, the whole dope squad. They teach a lot about how to be a better filmmaker. And for me, it has been exciting to go down that avenue and try to figure it out more because look at this. I already have this new hack in life. I'm already a thousand times better at filmmaking. That's how that works. Wherever you can find inspiration, it's really important to try and do so. So for someone like Peter in a small town, that's where he feels good and then he can go travel and explore the world via his craft, which is an amazing, you can't use the word via that many times. I think in terms of travel, I have the same sentiment as Kasky Stinnett. She says, I travel a lot. I hate having my life disrupted by routine. And I think you feel the sense of fulfillment when traveling because it's technically, I think what we're supposed to do as human beings. Speaking of which, I'm going to South Carolina tomorrow. And then the next day we're going to Ireland as a family, the first family vacation in a long time. So if you do want to keep up with that live, you can check out my Instagram story, which is at John Hill to keep up with the full awesome of the awesome squad family, the lit dope squad, AKA my family. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and like the video, comment down below. Let's have a conversation. Thank you so much for all of the beautiful engagement and for enjoying the video. Stay tuned every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for a video on this channel and we'll be doing weekly uploads on my second channel. So be sure to stay tuned for all the free content coming your way. Guys, love you so much. Progress daily and keep Keep killing it!